do 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 hey it's nubby ear wiggles thank you thank you thank you Hold on, I gotta announce to the universe. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, what's that up there in the sky? Look, it's a comet. Of course, you know what every person who is in a pod is doing right now, or who uh, owns a pod is doing right now. They're like, I want to go see it. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's so far away, but I can get there. Oh, I can get there. I can get there. Bam. It's layered. It's not really 3D, but it is layered. Good morning. Dun 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 Bam. Mad skills. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess while I'm waiting for people to log in here, I need to go find something. Ooh, ship direct haunted pirate galleon. That's just in time for Halloween. Yeah, that's a very nice one. Uh, let's go all piratey themed then, I guess. I'll start off with the, uh... Man. I'll get crowns, what? How am I always so broke? Oh, that's right, just because I give you guys all my stuff. All right, now I can buy one of those guys. So we'll do that one later. We'll do the pirate themed now. What's another pirate theme in here? That guy, pirate. Rough pirate normal. Okay, we'll start off with the rough pirate outfit, then do the pirate outfit, and then I'll close out uh, with the gigantic ship. I think that'll be the second biggest item I've ever given out, but I like pirate stuff. And I want you guys to have pirate stuff. I probably will take advantage of that new thing we can do where we can uh, mark it as uh, no trade. But let me get the raffle going. Oh, I don't have my chat bot up. Do, 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 do. The guest ball spins and rolls down. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the cannon stuff. I made uh, jeers for that stuff. Uh, Cypher One Black. Uh, first, I just shipped you a box. I'm pretty sure I just shipped you a box. Don't know why you hadn't been yelling at me, but you were one of four people who had boxes. Uh, so you got a box coming? Not a big yeller. See, that's, you got to be a little bit of a squeaky wheel. Because I need yelling at sometimes. It's not that I don't work hard. It's just that I, unless I have a reason to, sometimes I'm working on stuff that is uh, more important to me. 
More important to everyone. Yes, that was your box for buying crowns. Are you owed another box? I already put that one in the mail. I'd be sad if you were owed another box, too. Give me new sun skill. Uh, no, so this morning, let's see. Oh, we're already up to 50 people. I guess that's probably somebody did a thing. Let's see. Nope, nobody did a thing. Just 50 people. Uh, so this morning, I'd mentioned uh, in a previous stream that I was going to add a new mine to Tartarus. It'll be a mine entrance. So basically another way to get in, it'll be through the Savernock Stronghold. Uh, there's a door there that is just fake. It'll still be fake, kind of, but, you know. Uh, it'll take you into one side of the mine. This will be a way you can cut sh a shortcut straight to the third level. But the whole mine section is actually pretty big. Uh, so the other thing I did is... Shh, don't tell anyone. I added uh, trying out a few new things. So our, our ore nodes go from tier 1 to tier 5. I did my usual thing. I turned it up to tier 6. So this will be a mine with fewer but tier 6 ore nodes. I know. Now you're wondering what what goes into the uh, what goes into the tier six. So the thing I'm trying on it is so normally you get like one. I think I forget which one, but maybe uh, iron ore or something gave one to two. So these basically they just they'll give more on the initial thing. The other thing that I did was add the meticulous collection version because I know you guys hate meticulous collection. Uh, because it's not giving you what you want. Beezus has some stuff planned for that, but uh, again, who knows when that'll actually get in. So for as an experiment, uh, and if Elrond, hey, Elrond is out there. Yeah, Elrond, I think some of them go up to, can go up to five. Uh, but the thing that I added in is the meticulous collection can give also uh, granite as a result. So at least there's something semi-useful in there. I know granite still uh, sells reasonably well. So this is not a PvP zone. Why am I on fire? This is not, is technically not a PvP zone. Uh, let's see if I can find anything. Here, let me show this off instead. I forget where anything is in here, so... Do, 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 do. All right, let me share Unity. And of course, I'm running Unity Editor here. There we go. So I'm running the Unity Editor and the game at the same time. Well, it still runs reasonably well. Uh, so this was an, a really old scene. It was one that was made by somebody who was on the project long, long ago. That basically everybody thought it was uh, kind of pukey and should be removed. Oh, I still have that bug in there. I gotta get that out. Oh, there we go. That's right, I did fix that. Uh, I'm gonna change out that water. But I'm trying, this is another one of those where I'm trying out some new stuff. Oh, look at that. We'll see what I get here. Uh, Elrond, I think it I turned it up to one in five. Oh, look. So I guess I wasn't even paying attention. I guess I got a meticulous collection. No, you're not getting the dragon grasses back. Those things were horrible. Uh, I do have a couple of uh, new creatures that are going to be going in here, though. So tier six is one to five, but also on meticulous collection, you get some extra stuff. So there's a... Uh, Oh, I guess you guys can't actually see. There's what came out of the ore node on that one. Again, not not crazy or anything like that, but uh, again, you can get some granite out of it. You get more of what you're mining at the time. Uh, not something totally crazy and radical. Uh, just, uh, again, a little more on progression. The, the creatures are going in here, though. Again, I'm trying out some new stuff, as I always do. I still got to do a little more deco pass. 
I literally just started this this morning. Oh, I gotta remove those VFX. Those are horrible. Oh. That's cool. That's not the actual thing. That's the visuals for something that's coming. Uh, but yeah, I've got to do two, three new creatures tomorrow morning. So I'll be working. That's one of the ones I'll be setting up. Uh, the I'm setting up one of them. I'm still trying to decide. I've already got the skill picked out for it. Uh, but it's probably going to be an imp assassin. Uh, so imp assassin, the special thing on them is one that they, uh, they have long paths that they move on, so they kind of walk the dungeon in different ways, walk the mines in different ways. They're not going to be visible until they're reasonably close to you. And then the other important thing on them is if they... Hey, welcome Legion of Myth Raid people. Uh, but if they attack you from behind... Uh, they get a huge damage bonus, so basically they'll do like 3 to 4x damage from behind. So the idea is kind of, you know, again, this is, it only happens in the mining area here. But you're there mining and you gotta like, everybody knows you see the thing going and you're like racing. It's like, I come on, I can get it mine before they get here. But anyways, uh, I thought it was kind of neat just, again, having a little sneaky thing and starting to put some more of those things in. But there'll be Assassin Imps is going to be one of them. I've got to get that guy over there finished in the morning. And then there's going to be one more that's going to be a satyr that'll be shared with the other area. So this is the old area, but you'll notice it also, I, I've done a little bit of cleanup on it. I'm going to do some more cleanup on it. The old one had this horrible bluish green lighting and haze, and it ran horribly. It was one of the worst performing maps in the game. It was just like problematic all over, but it was one of the worst performing maps in the game because it had just like a thousand lights and it was crazy. Again, that was also, that was someone no longer here, but also due at least partially to uh, not understanding things that well back then. So this is also, you can see it's using the mindset. I've up the mindset a little bit. Mine set, not mind set. Why am I not seeing more ore? I think I've just been walking by it. Yeah, I have. Uh, let's see. These are also a six on difficulty, and give uh, twice the experience of others. Again, kind of the go goal was to have half as many, but have them be at least twice as good. There we go. Do do do. But anyways, this is this should go live in this next release. Uh, it won't be on the QA build. Let me check to see where that is right now. Uh, looks like we are in overtime. Sudden death overtime. Uh, okay, that's not what it really means. Uh, usually when we do, we haven't done a QA build in a while. And when you haven't done a build in a while, there's a lot of assets that the build has to import before it'll... It'll be ready to build, so it always takes longer the first time. And the Team City, the automation program we use, the continuous integration and build system we use, uh, tries to estimate time based on past builds. And so in past, it was quicker because we'd been doing one after another. Do, do, do. Uh, and the scene, this uh, art set is scaled up. I'm actually going to go take a pass just from playing through it. Like, I didn't mind the ground so much, but the walls bother me. Dog, I hear you back there. Hold on. Emergency. Okay, dog's taken care of. Uh, the granite, or those uh, ore nodes are, are uh, big, but they're not, that's not a bug because they were scaled up or something. Do, do, do. Uh, so again, the switch to private mode is one of those things, if we do that, my guess, my belief is that we'll actually have fewer people PvPing. Uh, I mean, that's one that is, again, we, we go back and forth on it, but I think it's hard to say. Are my nodes swollen? Yeah, 
yeah, these are tier six nodes that I was setting up again. They will give uh, roughly twice on average what a tier five node would give. They're tougher, but they can have some extra stuff. I'm gonna throw some more stuff in there. But there's fewer, there's a total of 20 that'll be spawned at any given time in this map. And it's a pretty big map. Let's see if I get a meticulous collection. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna get me some granite. Woo hoo! Look at that. Does that get you excited all around? I know that's little stuff. Non exceptionals are useless. <laughs> meticulous is horrible. Well, what I'm trying to do is so we can set what's in those the meticulous collection loot bundles. And I'm trying to make sure that the meticulous collection is what it you know it was really supposed to be, which is you get two full harvests. So I'm going in and again this is a little bit of an experiment. Elrond, don't mind you buys. I understand, man. You gotta you gotta pick where you spend your time. Do 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 uh, but anyways, this is a pretty large cave section here. Uh, I'm still in the middle of spawning it at the moment. I've got the uh, spawners down, but I haven't actually added the creature or the pathing down. I just haven't added the creatures to it yet. Uh, but you can imagine this place filled up. I did do the ore. I did add the ore stuff to it this morning, but this was one of three or four things I did this morning. Let me go see what some of the other stuff I did was. Do do do. Let's see. I kicked off QA build. Uh, I added tame frenzy to the trainers. Let's see. Tier six ore nodes. Uh, I made pot effects. Things that are marked as pot only effects which are things like disco potions and stuff like that and growth potions and jump potions i forget what else uh, but those will now work in dungeons and basements as long as they are not pvp uh, that came up at the party and people couldn't use the nerf fire mages now next on my list is a uh, nerf death shield a little bit uh just a little bit and then continue to try to figure out how to get bludgeoned up. But right now I've got uh, stuff today, tomorrow I know for sure. Uh, Snugsy one, this will not be for today's patch. You will not get your tame until next Thursday. You can wait. It's only like ten days. Uh, that's one of the other things I have. Is there's going to be a again as I sit here and try to figure out how one of the, the challenges is making everybody feel useful and if uh, you know everybody knows archers are crazy and don't die very importantly uh, just because they keep their distance same thing with casters too their their survivability is a lot better even though they don't really you know they're they're weaker they just don't have to get close to the fight uh there's actually going to be a creature coming up that the uses does range stuff and the damage it does is uh scales up with distance so the further you are from it the bigger its attack gets and the bigger its attack gets the more damage it does so that'll be one of those that uh is aimed at making tanks feel useful uh, because they'll be the ones that can withstand it the, the best. And it also is one that can force different strategies on uh, ranged people and casters. Because that's something that's kind of one of the things is, you know, run and, run and gun or whatever you want to do. But you always keep your distance from So this is one where keeping your distance could be fatal. I'm debating that could be what actually goes on that... Uh, the uh, flaming steed thing, the nightmare. Now, 
ranged as junk now. No, it's not. It's just not as good as it was. It's now it's in, on par with the other stuff. It's only took like got like a tiniest little nerf. If there's a haters, we'll see. Uh, I did because I knew there'd be some people. Even though most of the nerf stuff that happened wasn't really specifically with archers, it was more with charging and big charge attacks and those type things. I did mark all air skills and all archery skills as 100% return of experience. Uh, so if you really think it's horrible, you can change, but... Oh, the rapid fire, one to three on ghost. Yeah, so the rapid fire is one that got a little bit of a indirect nerf. That was actually the bug fix, but I knew what the result was gonna be. And this was when I was going and looking at the dragons and why dragons are such uh, sissies and pushovers. And that's when I discovered that our damage resist for creatures had never actually worked anywhere near like what it was supposed to. Uh, so dragons went from having like 30 to 70 uh, damage resist. Near, near, near. Hold on, I'm setting a timer for me to get Maxine. I gotta go a little bit early today because I gotta go by the mailbox. Bam. All right, timer set. I will not miss it. So yes, no more four passive one click. I'm, again, this is one of those things, they've been out in the, the lead for a while. Uh, so I'm trying to get them back down to earth, but I, I think they're still very playable and very, I still think they're OP, uh, but we'll see. Like I said, though, now I'm trying to go, I'm not going to be nerfing them anymore. I'm trying to come up with other ways to force different play styles. Uh, and that's kind of where the damage scaling up based on range effect is coming in. And again, when I have add one of those things, I can use it on a bunch of different stuff. So you'll probably see it on, you know, a couple different things. Do, do, do. But anyways, this area down here is pretty big. And you can imagine once I get this thing filled with glorious, glorious creatures, I'm going to do this thing I hate. Come up here. And you can see it's a pretty big, I've only scratched the surface of the scene. There's like this area down here, which has wandering creatures in it, but every end point is another ore node that'll, it's a potential ore node that can spawn there. Uh, I'm doing the thing where there's uh, two or four times as many potential spots as there are actual ore nodes at any given time. So there'll be 20 plus nodes spawned at any given time, but there's, you know, 40 or 60 positions they could be at. All right, anyways, that's one of the things I worked on this morning. Let's see, what else did I do this morning? Do, do, do. Uh, mentioned the, oh, I fixed, uh, someone pointed out the, after the dance party, they were very sad. They were playing a female character and the frog can skin color was looking like the Hulk skin color. Uh, so I think I fixed that. Uh, attunement at the very high end has a little more uh, curve to it. And that is using the POW thing, but this is really, you'll see less than a 1% effect difference unless you're in like the 300 to 400 plus attunement greater than your target. Uh, so that's very, very minor. That's really just, again, trying to look at what people are doing that feels broken. Uh, it basically, if you look at it, it's got a POW 0.98. So one is straight line. What if this is a POW 0.98? I'll, I'll see what that does in terms of moving things around. Let's see. What other stuff can I show off here? Have Kodo drops been nerfed? Well, let me go look. I've got a chart for that. And then I'll jump over and get on some of the questions because I did not get as many questions done as I wanted last time. Uh, let's see. 
That would be under, whoop. Hmm. Hold on. Crowns looted over time. Of course I have a chart for that. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's really changed. I mean, it scales up and down with the population. Let me do a 30-day chart on it, see if anything shows up on that. Or I'll do a 20. Oh, you're saying after the last patch. I'll do 14. Do 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 do. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. So here is a chart. Yeah, it does not look like it's uh, it's changed at all. It's pretty flat. I mean, it's proportional to the number of people playing on that day, which is kind of what I would expect. Let's see. Hold on. Display capture. There we go. Yeah, so it's it might have changed bullet. Oh, and I missed uh, Dinsu. Thank you for the resub. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see. It does kind of look because this doesn't quite match up with uh, uh, server population. And I don't know what that was about. That may have been a day we did a patch or something like that. I don't have a good explanation for that. That's not 9-11. 9-11 resulted in some low, lower than expected player counts. It's always weird to see what people, what makes people play or not play on certain days. But I mean, it's it's pretty much, pretty much in line with what I would expect. Yeah, I, I mean, again, I think it's just, you see it, it comes in spurts, and uh, just so people know the way it works is there's kind of, it has bundles, and like the bundle you can get lucky, uh, and the server will roll, and you get a big bundle, because it basically does little bundles. I forget what the numbers are for it, but it's, you know, it's in the dozen or so range. It's in the single digit, low double digit, uh, but then sometimes someone will get a, like a fountain, basically, and they'll get a big drop where it can be you know a hundred plus uh crowns in a drop and when that happens you know that may shorten it that may reduce it for everybody else uh for a little while after that because it tries to balance all that stuff out you can attenuate faster in tar solo now uh there's gonna be a few tweaks but i'm not gonna be changing too much on that Again, I look at the, some of the things I look at for those who don't know is I try to look at both not just experience per hour for people, but also gold reward per hour. But the other thing I try to look at is deaths per hour. Uh, so that's one of the places where UT is great, like the reward to risk, like no one's dying in there. Uh, and I don't feel it takes any skill. I mean, people can go and park AFK is part of why I hate it. In uh, Tartars, at least you have to do a little work. And you can die. Yeah, UT is still the best money rate. For R70, there will be a slight change in that uh, that will affect UT, and people will scream UT nerf, but it's going through lots of stuff, which is uh, Undead will be getting their level divided by two, an additional uh, moon resistance, lunar resistance. So that will feel, and because that's one of the big things that's in there is that's and also one of the play styles. 
Uh, I forget if it's also getting a fire resist. I'll have to go look and see if it, it got any fire resist. Undead are supposed to be fairly not fire resistant, but liches are, you know, only semi corp or corporal, so maybe they will. And also, that's not a huge amount that basically will just reduce your damage by. Yeah. One ring fire can wipe out ruin keep. Oh, we want some screenshots there. Okay, hold on. Let me see. So again, that is Tartarus. You can see the starting is that crazy line down there is the uh, first major path I've laid down. And there's a couple different spawners that are going to be on that that are walking that path. Uh, I've got one. I'm working on this the path that basically takes them through like a clean out crew that takes them through all of this stuff. And then there'll be another one. Pretty much all the sections in the dungeon will have some place that a uh, wandering mob of some sort hits. Yes, this is the old uh, dragon wrath uh, section of the... Uh, it was like a scene, but I pulled in the good parts and left out the bad parts and updated a little bit. And again, this is on a 12 meter grid versus a eight meter grid. Most stuff is on eight meter, which is why I looked small. You know, things look bigger in there than, than normal. Even a little horse looks like a tiny little horse. He's a big horse. Uh, let's see. I guess I can get over to some, oh, I haven't given a single giveaway and I'm only gonna be on for another 20 minutes and I gotta give away a pirate ship and pirate stuff and I didn't start the giveaway, oh my God. Hold on. Did I not start the giveaway? Uh, oh no, it does look like I started the giveaway. Oh no, I did not. I, I did no, I did not start the giveaway. You guys should hate me now. Okay, guys, get ready. Uh, this will be for the rough pirate outfit. Go. Get in there. I'm gonna give it away in uh, two minutes. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And that was uh, Pub Rules, Jeromulin TV, uh, Shep311, Famines, and Gleppo1. Congratulations, Jerkith, and Treewalk the Nerfed Archer. You guys just missed out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it is capturing the questions. I checked on that, so I'm, I am getting questions in this. Let's see. Lots and lots and lots of questions. What about removing forced private mode from mines? Antrax Artec asks. Uh, so mines, that's one of those things where people would uh, try and hunt me down and kill me. Well, I guess uh, the private mode, we could do forced private mode removed from PvP for mines, but uh, yeah, I mean, they need, uh, they need their privacy in the mines. I know it's, I, I dislike it a lot too, just because it's, you know, then it's People don't catch people who are botting or the other other stuff, and if our stuff doesn't catch them, then they're free to bot or whatever. Uh, but it also, I mean, it's a finite resource in the game. Like, I'm going to be adding this scene. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, then I'm adding, what, like 20 nodes that'll be shared among the entire server. You guys want, you want to be able to instance mines, I think. As much as you want to kill the man tracks, I know what you want. Uh, let's see. What does efficiency do for spells? I totally forget. Let's see. Butcher, I guess I need taming efficient. That's got to be some uh, Tooltip hint or something. I was going to say, I know what the variables are called, I just don't know what they're called on the other side. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't see a tooltip. Milling refinement efficiency, taming, smelting. Loot efficiency. Yeah, I'll need some more information on that. I forget what uh, uses it. What uses efficiency? Oh, you corrected the question. <laughs> Effectiveness. All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, so effectiveness. So this is one of those things that makes it tough. We got to like, everything's got to be buried in the, the, uh, the tool tip rather than in the stat tip sometimes. Uh, but let me go pull this up for you. Let's see, how about, uh, I'll just do lightning. Okay, how about chain lightning? So that's one of those stats that gets used uh, in the formulas that you can't quite see. There you go, now you can see. These are some formulas for things. Now, effectiveness. So, for example here, air stun effectiveness. Here's how it works, is it basically uh, increases the uh, duration of the stun. So again, that's why we can't have it as a stat. If that gets used in multiple places, your air, your air effectiveness, if that gets used in multiple formulas, then like what it does in each formula might be a little different. That's kind of the problem with challenge with making uh, uh, specializations their tooltip for the stat actually be meaningful it's you know percent X or whatever and that's it gets used in like 10 places but how it gets used in each one of them is different so you just have to list it in the tool or in the uh, the actual tooltip one second Let's see. All right, let me go next. Uh, Radian Woodlander, since dungeon construction takes thousands of granite, have you addressed granite nodes? So I've not addressed granite nodes. I've not touched any of the ore nodes on things. Uh, as you just saw, though, that is something that I just introduced. Hey, welcome, Catherine Rose. That is something I just introduced. If you saw me going around and mining in this map, the... Tier six nodes, when you get a meticulous collection, one of the extra things it gives you in the extra steps in meticulous collection is granite. Let's see. Uh, Amtrax, Artec. Let's see, will PVP series issues like switch to private mode and click on exits? Click on exits and click on teleporters will be fixed for R70. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now, but I will get that. That's on my short list of things to do. So I will get that fixed for R70. Again, that one is totally makes sense and I can't believe we didn't already have it. The private mode for PVP, again, that's one of those where, you know, there's only so much of a beating that PVP people take before they just like start in flagging and not be flagged, so. We got to choose one, and that's, we're kind of, again, trying to, not trying to make it a fluffy bunny game and hugs and kisses and care bears and all that jazz, but we are trying to make quality of life better. Hey, thank you very much, Catherine Rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. A request, give Elgarion Legion of Myth his codas. Have I not given him his codas? He needs them so I can win on his stream. Good call. Let me go do that right now. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Elgarion. Let's see, I think I'm going to give him an upgrade in how many I normally give him. That way he can hand them out to you guys even more. Bam. Alright, there we go. Elgarion's taken care of. Oh yeah, the giveaway. Squirrel! Uh, close giveaway. Pick winner! Jerikith! Congratulations, you just won the Rough Pirate Outfit. Well, I'm standing in front of my mailbox. Jerikith. No, oh, I don't remember what it's. Riverson, that's it. Okay. Coming right up. Jerikith Riverson. Do 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 do. Dun 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 dun. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's see. You're getting the rough, pirate. Wait, where's my pirate? Did I not do the pirate? Oh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at, but uh, maybe I didn't do the actual rough pirate. Let me see what that looks like. Okay, so that looks like a... This doesn't say rough pirate in the actual pieces. It is just the... Tricorn, pirate hook, pirate pants, pirate jacket. Okay, got it. Do 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 do. Oh, where'd Jerikith go? There you are. You logged in on me. Okay, now I can get the pirate tricorn hat, the hook. How can I not see the hook? Ah, crap. I'm just going to send you some stuff. A hook hand, there we go. And uh, like a vest or something. There you go, I'll just take some crap. <laughs> All right, and since I am gonna have to get off here in not too distant in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one now. You guys ready for that one? And then I'll wait about 15 minutes more and then I'll do the big one, which is that pirate ship, the beach pirate ship or whatever that was on sale. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick a second winner. Let me allow entries again. Go ahead and enter again if you want to, and I will... If you already entered, you, you don't need to enter again. I'm not... I didn't clear it. I'm just going to do a second one here. So only if you're new. So you guys have all entered. Entered, entered. Oh, nope. There's one person who didn't get in the first time. Do, 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 do. ba -na -na -na, dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. Close giveaway. Pick winner. You guys have all entered, trust me. Lord of Honesty. Lord of Honesty. Surely your name cannot be Lord of Honesty. Okay, so the next one I'll do in 15 minutes. I'll, I'm going to be giving away that big pirate ship that's a city lot pirate ship. Who are you, Lord of Honesty? Lord Space of Honesty? Lord Space... Oh, say, hey, John. Hey, it's been a while since I did one of those. I should be doing some Rick Ocasek thing since the cars are there, but that's... Those are all so weird and like you always sounded off tune anyways. 
Lord of Honesty told me on Discord. You are most welcome to tell me on Discord if anybody ever wants to uh, keep a secret. Let's see. Got it. John Smith, your package is coming right up. Your secret is safe with me. Let's see. Okay, so the next one is going to be the uh, crazy pirate ship thing. Let me stop doing the Unity thing. There we go. So the next one's going to be that bad boy right there. Shipwrecked haunted pirate galleon coming up on Halloween. We're also coming up on Christmas. I know this because I went to Costco this weekend. And they already have all the Christmas stuff out. And Maxine immediately says, Christmas, it's Christmas. Thanks, Costco. All right, uh, let me, since we're, let me go ahead and reset. And I'm going to put up the pirate ship for the last one here. City pirate ghost ship. Ooh, spooky. Okay, there we go. Now you can enter. Uh, so now let me answer a few more questions. Other thing. Uh, for those who missed it earlier, I was showing off a map that's going to be going in. Oh, and while you guys are doing that, let me see if I can figure out a song here. Okay, what have I been singing on Spotify lately? I'm kind of getting ready for ACL Fest that's coming up. Star and uh, Burning Toad and Beezus and... Uh, tons of friends. We all go to uh, we all go to ACL Fest to hang out and drink. Let's see. Do 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 do. Here we go, this one is for uh, John Marcus. I apologize to everyone else, but thank you, John Marcus, for your uh, support, uh, as always. And also, uh, if you guys go to the Tartarus, and you see the, the skeleton boss guy on the second level who's in the water, who stands up, who's got the big bow, and he's Cap. Is he Captain Marcus or Captain John? That was because uh, John was watching on a morning stream and gave me a bunch of bits as a thank you for uh, something. So you too can buy your name into the game if you want to. You didn't know I was going to do that. I just did that as a thank you since coming up with names is tough, anyways. Blue Jean Baby. L.A. Lady. A seamstress for the band A pretty eyed Pirate smile Pirate smile? I never knew that was a lyric there You'll marry a music man A ballerina You must have seen her <coughs> A dancing in the sand and now she's in me always with me tiny dancer in my hand I'm watching the numbers drop there I'll stop when I get down to a hundred viewers dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and now she's in me yeah that's what it says don't think that's about like uh, pegging or anything like that. <laughs> Jesus freaks out in the streets, handing tickets out for God. All right, I'm going to skip to the last part because you guys don't want to hear me sing that whole thing down there because it's long and it's 
pauses all the way in there. Uh, hold me closer. <laughs> That's horrible. I tried higher. No, I don't think I can do it higher. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Count the headlights on the highway. Lay me down in sheets of linen. <laughs> Way off tune. You had a busy day today. I just haven't heard this song that much recently. All right, Marcus, I, I totally butchered that for you. This is what I was trying to talk to uh, Taiki about. She's starting to do some Twitch Sings stuff. You guys got to go check out Taiki on uh, Twitch Sings and follow her on Twitch Sings. I'll, I'll make sure and advertise it next time she does it. <laughs> that's for the effort, I'm sure, not for the quality. Uh, but uh, that's what I was telling her is I know I suck at singing. I think she... Uh, she worries because she didn't get anybody to listen, but I think it doesn't advertise it very well when you do a Twitch sing. So I'm going to start advertising when Taiki does her Twitch sings. Do, 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 do. Uh, Shep 311, I'm still hoping to get level 3 of Tartarus live this release as well. That's going to have, that's going to be the satyrs. It's basically going to be a big open cavern uh, with a massive uh, maze in it and overlook points. And satyrs down in the uh, in the maze. That was my chair. Nothing else. But anyways, that that still should be in this mine. Is actually not supposed to be level three. It's going to be connecting to level three. The section down below that I'd worked on one morning, uh, I, just because I continue to have performance challenges with it, just due to the scale of it and some of the crazy high poly art that goes into it with the pirate ships and some other stuff. Can I put that on hold a little bit? Uh, Z of Silverdale, sun will be boosted for R70, and I'm still hoping to get the, the new sun skill in. It will not be in this first QA build, but I did actually create the definition for it. Uh, kind of know what I'm doing with it. So that'll be in, that should be in for R70 as well. Let's see, what other questions do we have here? Spellbinder stance, casting time a bit lower. The uh, pain of not moving already high. Uh, yeah, is it not the same as the other stances? Spellbinder stance. What's your cast time, Spellbinder Stance? Cost 10 focus. So it's at a two. That doesn't feel that long to me. What are the other stances? Yeah, the other stances are one and zero. And yeah, it's the one that you have to stand still. Uh, it does not... Let me see how much it gets used. I didn't think it got used much in terms of stances. Checking it right now. If it's not used a ton, then I'll go ahead and lower it down. Just for you. Let's see. So let's see. So it's got that's it gets used a fair amount. In the last seven days, it was used uh, almost twenty thousand times. Oh. oh, defensive stance was used fifty-two thousand times. How about berserker stance? Hold on one second. Let me check uh, one more here. Berserker's stance. Fifty-two 
52,000 times. And let's see, those, yeah, those are both, well, Berserker Stance is a two, but it's got a zero cast time. It's got a long lock time, so it takes, you know, from when you start to when it finishes, but you don't have to stand still or anything like that. I will lower it for you. I agree, and it's, uh, again, that's one of the things I look at is how much is it getting used? Is it getting used a ton? If not, there's probably a reason why. Since you have complained about that, we'll assume that's possibly a uh, one of the reasons why. And again, that's I occasionally have people get on the stream and are like shocked that I would make a change like that, design change like. There's like so many things like how to quantify values in those things. There's like no exact formulas and all that stuff. That's that's one of the challenges is uh, with our project for those who are new to the stream. Uh, is because we have a completely open system, skill system, everything system, uh, figuring out balance on stuff. Everything is like apples to oranges, and there's so many different variables to figure into it. It's, it's really tough to figure out the balance uh, for those type things. So that's uh, many times I have to do balance by observation and see what you guys are actually doing. Yeah, tool are fair low it's one of those things uh, doesn't provide all that much benefit given the defensive cost yeah and that's one of those things some skills really aren't that i mean they're not useful for pve solo type stuff but it has other uses where it can be like pve in a party if you're actually playing in a party you know who cares about the defense if you got a tank up there tanking for you or if you have an archer in the party because we know he's going to be pulling all the aggro do 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 I haven't touched Death Shield yet. Oh, you're talking about his Death Shield. Well, Death Shield's another problem. So I'll tell you what, I'll get it so you can kill him by uh, doing some work on Death Shield. <laughs> 42 crits. I'll go look and see. I'll look at the DPS charts for the archers out there and see how they're doing. Uh... Let's see, where was the that used? Now I gotta put together a chart to correlate where the skill was actually used, but yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if it was all used in all used in upper tiers. Not all of them, but I mean that's people who who uh who group use it, so and that's one good thing about upper tiers. Yep. There's one, the first uh, two I looked at were in the rise. I think some people playing in the rise together. But again, that's another one where you you group up. All right, let me pull a few more questions here and then I'm gonna give away that giant pirate ship. How am I doing on time? I got three minutes. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Let's see, town, lot deed to go with the ship house. No way, Nicholas X Dark. Maybe I'll do a giveaway a town lot deed tomorrow. But uh, not today. Not today, Satan. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what this means. Bonger. Since this game, it's full of Russians and Italian. Can't you prolong invulnerability against players when you resurrect the donks? Okay, maybe that means because you're spawning in and it takes longer. Or do you mean that Russians and Italians like to kill you? <laughs> I'm guessing you mean it's uh, spawning in. I haven't seen you speak up there. Res kill problem for PvP? Yeah. Uh, we can. It's already set up. It should be set up so res kill, so that effect. Let me go look. That's one of those things that's shared. should be on the client and the server. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing the it's creature resurrect. Let me try searching for invulnerable. Hmm. Well, that's one way I can find it. Okay, I think I know how to find it here. Let me go check and see what it is. Uh, I, it's one of those things I don't mind turning up the invulnerability time on spawns if it is actually something where it's short enough where it's a problem for you guys. Uh, the Since you can't do anything while it's going on and you can't move, you know, moving cancels it or whatever, so it's not that big of a deal to make it longer. I think we set long enough so we thought it would be plenty long for everybody, but apparently not. Invol, nope, not there. Spawn protection is what it's called. Ah! Quack, quack, quack. All right, I'm coming for you, Maxine. Let's see, hold on. I'm looking at it right now, I'm looking. Why is that? Oh, it's... Hold on, let me go look, I've gotta find it. I think that actually gets set in code because it gets deactivated. It's one of those wacky ones. Yes, I have no problem, uh... No problem extending that. Looks like it's 10 right now. Alright, let me get back over there. So I'm at the place where I can actually change it now, if I want to. What do you guys, what do you think, Bonger? Is it extra five seconds? Add five seconds to it. As you wish, Bonger. This will totally make up for me killing your ability to kill people with bows. Calling it even, right? Maybe. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about Maxine. I have multiple alarms set now. All right. Oh, whoops. That's one that I've got to change in one more data place. All right, give me one second here and I'll have it uh, have it all fixed up and ready for you. And then I'm going to do the pirate ship. So all you guys need to raffle up, get in the pirate ship thing. And by the time you guys have done that, I will be ready to... Do the drawing. Global tweak. All right, now that's been changed on both sides. And let me get that in, checked in for you. One second, one second, one second, there it is. Increasing spawn protection from 10 to 15 seconds. Because Italy. Or Russia, either one. All right, guys, uh, I do have to get going here, but let me do a quick drawing. Well, I know my name is Simon, and I like to do drawings.
Uh, Fizzle, I will try to get to your mail uh, again. We'll have some exciting announcements, and you guys are seeing all the work that I'm getting done here. Uh, just haven't had time to get to mail, as I now I'm up to 13. I did get to like three of them before I got pulled away for stuff. Uh, let me do... Got to do one thing here. Whoops. Doing a thing. Hold on. Let me do that. And then I'm going to draw for crowns. All right. Now I can do the thing. All right. You guys ready? Uh, closing the giveaway. Here we go. Trolls can still run through the wall in two places in Ruin Keep. Interesting. Illusion. Illusion walls. Or bug. Probably needs to have its nav mesh rebuilt. Uh, closing the giveaway and picking the big winner. Big winner. Big winner is. Click. Jamie Jen. Wonder if that's Jamie Jen in game. You are the big winner. Let me do my pirate ship thing. Ava Thorne, Ava Thorne, congratulations. And let's see, I think I can do it this way and then Send that. All right, Jamie. Yeah, I think that's the first time I've heard your name uh, read out there as a winner. So congratulations. And you're even watching. That's amazing. Uh, guys, again, thank you so, so much for joining me on the stream today. Again, that scene you saw earlier and the new ore node mines will, or ore nodes will be in there. Uh, we're going to play around with it again. That's one of those things. I just want to take a more active role in terms of trying to make mining suck less. Uh, that's my first step. If that if people if that feels good and it doesn't blow any numbers out of uh, out of the water, then I will take a pass at some of the other ore nodes and try to get those better. Again, that my my dream for meticulous collection is not that we remove it, but that we make it give you useful stuff. You know, we want it to be something that's rewarding, not something that people try to avoid because they don't want to. You know, they don't want to sit there and have the meticulous collection take longer. Uh, so, let me figure out who we are going to raid today, and head on over there. Let's see, we got uh, Skeggy, we got Bonger, we got House of Mangar, we got uh, Chris, who's not actually there, he's actually working at uh, the gas station still. All right, so we got three people that I like all of them. I'm just going to do a random roll three here. And that was Skeggy first, Bonger second, Fizzle third. You guys ready? The winner is... Oh, that's a good tip, Fizzle. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, anyways... Roll three. And the winner is three. Three. House of Mangar Fizzle, you are today's uh, happy winner there. And there's just in case people were wondering. I didn't want to show that because it had something there. Now you can see it. He was mentioning a, a slight uh, exploit. That people can use. So, uh, but anyway, so we're gonna go raid that House of Mangar dude, also known as Fizzle. And uh, guys, I will see you again. This is a lockdown week, not release week. So I will be on on uh, Wednesday for sure. Probably not here to or tomorrow though. I'm trying to get caught up on stuff. So many things, uh, but I have been getting a lot of stuff done in game. 
as well as out of game, including shipping some boxes. Just made a uh, trip with the car. Uh, so, is it working? Yep, got the right one. All right, guys. Uh, again, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, John Marcus and Dinsu and uh, Catherine Rose, as always. Uh, thank you guys for, and of course, Legion Myth for the raids. I didn't give him a raid back. I think we did last time, though. We did on the maybe the Friday stream. We still owe him about a thousand raids. Uh, I just sent him some uh, crowns to give away, so he should be happy. Uh, so, guys, again, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Looking forward to this release. Getting lots and lots of bugs fixed and still getting a little new content in. Probably not too many new features because they take more time to polish than content, like actual map content. Uh, but again, guys, see you on Wednesday. Have fun in game. See ya.